Hello everyone and and welcome to our Christmas Eve look ahead for most of January and also into February. This is so to say we're looking at the anomalies for pressure, temperature and precip for the next um six weeks, starting from tomorrow, that is Christmas Day, to Monday the fifth of February. It's broken down into weekly anomalies of six weeks and it's just something for fun really it shows what might happen the trends the possible trend for the next six weeks of course doesn't mean that it will happen especially anytime beyond week two it is just a snapshot it is just fun so starting off with week one it, that's christmas day to new year's day and we're looking at the pressure anomaly so any blue colours here show below average heights or low pressure and these orange colours show high pressure and we can see that there's a very strong signal for below average heights a deep area of low pressure will be centred over Ireland and the UK so definitely going to be unsettled, wet and windy the temperature anomaly is actually quite interesting it has cold anomalies into the north and northwest of Ireland and even towards the, towards the south and east it's near average so definitely a lot cooler than it has been of late um, that it would definitely be noticed but it'll still be mainly westerly possibly northerly at times um, and then looking at the precip anomaly very wet week coming up going to be a wet week between Christmas and New Year um, in those green colours here this is the week two pressure anomaly. Okay, so we see a, an area of blue over Europe. That shows that we'll see a trough over Europe. This uh, this orange lump to our west, that shows that we'll have high to the west, low to the east, and winds coming in from a northeast direction based on that chart. Okay, at the temperature anomaly, um, it actually rises, but I'm not sure about that. About an, about average to one degree, one degree above average, but I'm not sure about that. Basically, because of this anomaly in pressure, probably still be colder than average or around average anyway. Um, then this is the anomaly for precip: dries to the west, wet to the east. Probably a northerly winds at least for a time. I mean that is an anomaly, so. You know, there could possibly be a mild spell in there that uh, skews the, the temperature anomaly. So here is the week three pressure anomaly from the 8th to the 15th of January. And that is interesting. We see a strong signal for blocking around Greenland, Iceland and the North Atlantic. A trough of low pressure into Russia and Eastern Europe. Very cold there with that. Um, around the high, I think cold air is being dragged down into it, so at least very, very frosty. Um, the temperature anomaly for week 3. Okay, so it's milder to our west, mainly because of the above average SSTs. However, Ireland is in the white colours, or an average in no signal. But the UK, and anywhere east of that, is colder than average. So I say that that would be a colder week, especially inland and away from the west coast. At least it should be very frosty with that. And the rainfall anomaly is drier than average with high pressure in charge. Week 4 is the 15th to the 22nd of January, and that again is more interesting. Um, again, strong blocking signals to our north and northwest, um, deep trough over Scandinavia and northern Europe, so that would be bitterly cold for those areas. Same for us, we're dragging down this northerly winds. Between the, between the trough and the block. Um, here is the temperature anomaly for week four. So we're in this white area, average, no signal, but I say, you know, surely that's coals. Um, it's very hard for these models to forecast below average temperatures. They really struggle to do that. So I would say that that is coals. Week four, so it's, it's, that is dry to our west and northwest, and it's wet to our south and to our east. Surely the jet streams well to our south around here, Africa, 
Southern Europe. Um, that's where all these troughs are going. Um, surely that is a negative NAO blocked past and coals. Um, week five is the 22nd of January to, to, to the 29th. Very interesting. Pretty much unchanged. Blocked to our north northwest, towards Green and Iceland. Trough towards our east. Very cold there, especially. Um, cold for us, I'd say, with that. I can't see how that wouldn't be cold. But actually, temperature normally rises. Um, I don't see how that will work um, with that anomaly. I don't see how it gets milder. Um, and week five, anomaly for preset. Again, um, look at that. Dry to our north, wet to our south. That should be an easterly wind. And you'll notice that the North Sea has above average precip anomalies. That will show easterly winds coming in through here and then convection forms as those cold easterlies, um, you know, engage with the moisture over the North Sea and big snow showers form. Surely that's a cold pattern. Surely that is cold. Um, I mean, what does that mean? Why is it pink? Some error. Anyway, week six finally is January 29th to February 5th. February. Um, unchanged. Unchanged. Blocking over Greenland, Iceland, Canada. Trough towards our east, cold, northerly winds. Again, I must stress, again, beyond week two, anything is anything is unreliable. You go totally up for changes. Totally up for changes. Um, I mean, I find it very hard to understand why blocking could stay in the same place for so long. However, there is very likely to be an SSW of some sort in early January. So that might be the response from that warming. Could be. Could be. Um, that could be it. That could be it. Only could. Could in caps. Because as ever with the weather, you know, it could flip at the last minute and you us all disappointed. It's happened before. Now, week six temperature anomaly is like this. Please, wow, it's milder than average. You would think that's cold, but oh well, it's showing milder weather. And the um, pre anomaly, again, look, it's drier to our west and north, and it's wetter to our east and south. That looks cold. From the pressure anomaly and the pre anomaly, weeks, what now? Uh, let's see. Around, you know, starting off week one, we start seeing, sorry, week two, we start seeing a change as the heights rise to our west. But from week three onwards, it's pretty much unchanged with the temperature. So no, no, no. It's unchanged with the pressure and precip anomalies. I mean, blocking throughout the whole period from the 8th, of January to the 5th of February. So, you know, what do you think of that? Let me know, let me know. But I, from what I'm seeing, that is probably a response, if anything, that the model is picking up on from this warming that's happening pretty much right now. It's starting right now over Europe. So thanks for watching. Again, could mount to nothing at all in the end and just be a mile west of January. You know, could well happen. But anyway, thank you for watching. Happy Christmas Eve. I'll see you later on.